Hey guys, it's Numbers here. Welcome you back for more Pokemon White Blind. In the last episode, we defeated the leader of the Nimbasa City Gym, as well as had our Santa evolve into Croc Rock. And in this episode, we're going to take on some toddlers. So let's do that. Um, and before I start, um, oh, what's it called? This is post commentary, so yeah, I can't really control the gameplay, but most of the battles in this are. Uh, cut out for uh, obvious reasons. They're optional. There's only two battles in this episode that I leave in. One of them is this. So that's that. Um, and yeah, pretty much it's taken me forever to do this. Um, it's kind of hard to. Uh, freaking what's it called? It's hard to record something that fails to record each and every time. My audio didn't record this time, so it's, this 20 minute video really is taking me an hour and a half to actually do. And it's the main reason why I didn't want to record Pokemon White in the first place. But uh, I like finishing stuff up. I don't like going on to new stuff without finishing old stuff, so just to get finished, I'll go and do some. Pokemon Emerald after this, and it'll be a fun night. Oh, sorry, I said stretch there. Hopefully, this audio gets recorded. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be upset. Nothing seems to want to record my audio, so. Um, but yeah, back to the game. I keep clicking random things on my things. I just do the mouse. But uh, Croc Rock's gonna do some nice uh, crunch damage to this herdier. So that'll be nice. Mm, it won't take it out though, spoiler alert. Uh, because for some reason, Croc Rock isn't strong enough to take it out in one hit. But herdier eats that berry, takes out Live Hard, and Charing sends it Pan's Age. And uh, Pantage really doesn't get any action because I crunched the hell out of this. It's gone. I get plus attack from Moxie, but it doesn't matter because the battle's over. And Krakorak is um, he's gonna get some experience here, which is nice. I'm no, I'm not good with post commentary on Pokemon because I feel as if I'm too fast for the game. Nicely done. You didn't win, but that was a good battle. Your Pokemon looked like they were having fun. Young man, if they're people like you who pursue strength, there are also people who are happy just being with Pokemon. There are many different people and many different answers. Um, when it comes to what a champion should be, you and I may hold different views, but so be it. Give it some thought. Let's roll. The Drivale Drawbridge is just ahead. And Charon says, the champion is the strongest of the strong. That's all there is to it. Alright, so there's going to be a couple battles here. I think three. Five in total in this span of like five minutes that are going to be cut out um right here i'm pretty sure i'm just swapping out pokemon Did some pokemon have a uh, have a uh, higher level so i want to try and split it up try this person they don't really give me anything none of these people give me anything because they're all losers but i fight this guy um, and that's cut out, so that's one battle gone of the five that I've cut out in this video. He gives me the electric guitar I put in the prop case. You can use that, I think, in Pokemon contests or something. I don't know. Here's another battle. Cut out. Um, but I, have, I haven't played DS Pokemon games in a while. I just started playing Pokemon Y again yesterday. Uh... I complete the Pokedex. There's another battle gone. I want that item. I'm gonna go get that item, but we gotta do this this way. Now to contact him. It's me, Alyssa. Please lower the drawbridge. I have a couple of trainers here who want to challenge you. Okay, thanks. Now watch this. While this cutscene goes, I'm gonna reach back, grab my water. Take a sip. <sighs> Yum. 
that cinematic, though. Alright, I have a TV gig, so I've got to go. Hit the A button. Gym leader the next time may take some getting used to. Do your best, both of you. What I am is a trainer. I prove I'm right by getting stronger and winning in battle, even against the champion. And there goes Charon. Now, I'm gonna go run back, and grab these items, and uh, there's two battles up here, plus like, I think three or four wild Pokemon battles that I just cut out, so. Here's a battle. This big bag, what do you think is inside? Spoiler alert, it's a Muna. But you don't get to see that. Grab this item, it's a great ball, which is nice. Uh, and we go through. Surprisingly, didn't run into any Pokemon there. But, don't run into anything there, but we find a revive on the ground. I think we fight this guy now. Nope. I go back here and run into that. Pile encounter, cut it out, run to another one. It gets cut out as well, and uh, we go get this third item. It's a Zinc, which is nice. And run into a... I think that's the last wild encounter. Yep. And we just fight this guy. And... Boop. Nothing. Bye-bye. Oh, I yawned. Alright. So now we start back by going towards the bridge. We run across. Uh, sometimes above the bridge you can see the shadows of bird Pokemon, right? Their feathers drift into the ground here. Try to pick them up. Occasionally you run into a Pokemon. Alright, so while I'm running here I see this shadow. And I'm like, hey, how do I get this? And it's like, oh, step on it and I get it. So it's a health wing. It gives you um, HP boost. It's like an HP up, I think. So I use that on Palpitoad, I think. Uh, so his, his base, base HP is going to rise. And that's, um, that's all she wrote there. I gotta get back to my editing window. Found, I think that was a muscle wing, I didn't see. Pretty sure it was a muscle wing. The next wing I find is a muscle wing, so. Spoiler alert! <laughs> run across the bridge, when ship passes, blah blah blah. Clay controls when the ships run from the start, so when the bridge raises and lowers, it's up to Clay. That's a worded weird. Um, I had to read over it a couple times because. Didn't really understand what she was saying, but we keep running. There's uh, another wing, it's Muscle Wing. Like I said before, grab it and we keep running. I'm trying to get the middle of the uh, thing. I was like, wait, the bike's fast. Go like this, run right into the kid. Chip Trails mentioned when it comes to mind is the cold storage and Charles. <laughs> so we just passed by here, and now we are in Driftvale City. To this lady here, and she says, So, about the city's pride and joy, the drawbridge. We also call it the Charizard Bridge due to its elegant form. Now, watch this. I can't get to the sign. I find that hilarious. Can't get to it, goddamn. So, there's Welcome to Driftvale, and nothing in the flowers go over the bridge, and we see. Hmm, so you're trainers Alyssa was talking about, huh? I'm Clay. I'm the gym leader around these parts. Don't be expecting no welcome now. Cause when we lowered that bridge, the team plasma guys we'd caught done escaped in all the ruckus. What a bother. We're grateful that you lowered the bridge, but how's it our fault that they escaped? You can say whatever you want. But it, what's important is y'all showed up, and then team plasma escaped. Maybe it's a little heavy-handed, but you ought to start looking for... Team Plasma, too. You're both talented trainers, aren't you? And... Runs away, turns off. I'll tell you what. If you find Team Plasma, I'll let you challenge my gym. Life's all about give and take. Well, I suppose that's fair. But really, we would have looked for Team Plasma even if you hadn't asked. I can get stronger while beating that bothersome bunch. Tyler, I'll go on ahead. Ugh. 
now. I uh, my mom got me a Tim Hortons hot chocolate, so I just stayed there um, for like three minutes. So I cut that out too. And we just go through these uh, houses. I don't think I went through it very well, but. Really sure. share tip with you during a battle. Even if the Pokemon items are taken away, don't worry, they will be returned to you safely. Really, nothing in these houses, so. This is the part of the video where you. Um, it's the part where you can click away if you want. But you know, don't do that. Because it's. If you haven't clicked away already, because commentary is just horrible. It's all because of shitty Camtasia not freaking recording my audio. Everything else would have been fine, but nope. It's like, it makes it not a blind playthrough anymore. Sure, I'm playing it blind, but I still... I know what I'm doing after the fact. So go here, restore the Pokemon, and then I go check out the shop, buy a couple things. And, uh, after I buy some things, I... Sell some things too, I think. After that, we go and check out the city more. So I buy a couple of those hyper potions, buy a few revives. Um, what else do I buy here? I buy some super bell. And that's about it for the buying, I think. I think I buy some great balls too. Yeah, but a couple great balls there as well. And that's it. We check out the next guy. The fucking phone! Why does it keep ringing? It rings like once every like 10 minutes. Jesus Christ. Anyways, all that guy has is mail. And then I just... <laughs> I want to sell, but I'm too fast for the game. The game's slow as hell. I buy a couple netballs. Well, yeah, a few netballs there. For something uh, in the future, so... It's a little foreboding, if you will. Uh, there's a... Now I'm selling some stuff. I sell the X attack that I had. The next attack here. I sell less for I think 250. And that's all I sell. For the most part, I'm pretty sure. And I wasn't sure if you could sell. Uh... I wasn't sure if you could sell. TM, so I tried, but you can't. So we leave the Pokemon Center. Can we go experience some of the city a bit more? Um, go into this house. Talk to these people. Great people came all this way. She wants a Pokemon that goes work up. Um, and then I go through my team after this and try and find something, but I can't. I, I don't have anything to work up. As soon as I start recording my audio here, I get the sniffles for some reason. <coughs> I'm in terrible talking shape right now, so I apologize for that. This is just a horrible recording. I should delete the video. It's like, yeah, we just beat some shit. But it's K. Going to this house, there is nothing good in this house. Oh, not even, there's nothing in the friggin' garbage can. When there's nothing in the garbage can, you know it sucks. Um, geez, alright, uh. Sidetracked him on the internet right now. Oh my god, I'm so unprofessional. But I was just going time because that house was useless. Get on the bicycle, go a little faster. I discovered the gym right here. Uh, our gym leader Clay is in the middle of something right now. Please check back later. Alright, and then we keep riding away. I thought this was the cold storage, that big area there. But it isn't. Trafail City. And we go to the left side of this building, try and talk to this uh, motorcycle guy, and he introduces us to... 
Name's Charles. I wanted to get the attention of a girl I like. It's name Triple Battle. Want to learn about it? Um, so gives us a brief explanation of the triple battle, and then we actually get into a triple battle of our own, which is pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, we're jumping here, so Charles is the only second battle that I let him because it's a triple battle. Might as well leave it in. Level 27, Vaseline, Krokorok, and Zipstriker versus my level 29, Servine and Krokorok, and level 30, Palpatoad. Um... Intimidate lowers everything. And we just start getting to work on this triple battle. Triple battle is actually pretty cool. Uh, the Pokemon in the ends can't hit the Pokemon on the other end. Like, Servine can't hit Basilin. Uh, Basilin can't hit Servine. Zebstrika cannot hit Palpitoad. And Palpitoad can't hit uh, Zebstrika, so. It's a pretty interesting idea. I'm not sure if they have it next to my house in any trouble that was next to my this is a totally new one. But that Aqua Jet hurts Croc Rock a lot. This flame charge does a good deal of damage there to a Servine there. Speed raises, but Papa Toad gets off the bubble beam, takes out Croc Rock in one hit. So we're up three to two in this triple battle. Rock uses Dig, I'm using this Dig on Zipstrika. Uh, Servine uses Mega Drain on Zipstrika, so it's can use Mega Drain on Basilin. And that just gives a little bit of damage there and restores some for Servine. Uh, Servine does, it, I think, pretty sure Servine does the same thing. We're gonna Leaf Tornado. Leaf Tornado on Zipstrika. And Crocodile, Crocorocks, Dig will take a Zipstrika, I'm pretty sure. And Palpito will just, uh, Uproar, because all my moves are water and ground. The flame charge was used on Croc Rock, and I'm pretty sure the Aqua Charge was used on Croc Rock as well. So I kind of lucked out there. The dig hits Zip Strike, the uproar also hit Basilin. I did some damage there, but the Zip Strike is down. We are up 3 to 1. And uh, Croc Rock gains a level, so that annoying little beeping sound. It's no longer because Croc Rock just grew to level 30, so Servine's Leaf Tornado fails because the striker is no longer standing. And all the. I, I think I just used Slam into the open space for Servine. Croc Rock uses Crunch, and Palpitoad uses Uproar. Unfortunately, the. Um, the Basilin uses Aqua Jet. It's faster than everything. Pretty sure it's a uh, priority move. Hits Croc Rock. Croc Rock goes down. We send out. I send out Scraggy, I'm pretty sure. But, um... Scraggy doesn't get any... any time to shine because Palpito takes out Vaseline. With the uproar. Right here, so uproar, hit, done. So we won that. That's pretty much the last thing in the video. It's the last highlight, so we just grab a few items in the last little bit here. Check out another house with a chat. Uh, he's talking about trade evolutions. This guy's talking about how TV programs can talk about um, Pokemon's abilities. So that's interesting, I guess. Um, this house. Hi, yeah, Professor gave you a Pokemon, right? Oh yeah, this guy tries to teach you um, the pledge, grass pledge to Servine, it'd be a water pledge, and fire pledge to um, Oshawott and Tepig, so. That's uh, something if you're interested. And then she talks about how you can make a great team if all the pledges are used, but it's not gonna be used ever because I don't care about pledge. Shitty product. Um. Head back into the Pokemon Center. Should have really cut out the Pokemon Center because it's they're kind of boring. Um, oh god! Makes me on. They're boring. Um, 
or winding down the video here. We've got about a minute, maybe 40 seconds left, so we quickly head into this this market shop thing. And the dowsing machine's going off. Uh, we found a big pearl there, which is nice. Nice thing to sell. I'll sell that off screen, probably. And uh, I'm trying to find the item, but I can't. So we have to enter the building in a different... Use it. We gotta use a different entrance to enter into the building, and we are currently looking for the uh, the item. I forget what the item is though. I don't think it's anything good. Yeah, hard scale. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry that this episode was horrible. I'll try and pick out, fix all the uh, technology that's used in the next episode. But anyways, see you guys next time. Bye.